in the simplest form, um, I like to think of character as uh, probably the most important single attribute that an individual has in their lives, whether it's leading a business or in any other profession you have or in your own personal life. It's, it's character that drives us to do uh, what we do. And in, in simplest form, I think character uh, can be defined as, uh, as the attribute that helps you make the right decision and makes uh, sort of, I like to think about it as a compass. And it's no matter what happens to your life, you sort of get dropped in that compass. If you remember the old compasses, probably many of you have never seen them, but the old compasses, you know, that little, that little uh, dial goes back and forth till it finally slows down and points to true north. And if you think about character as being able to make that right true north decision in any circumstance, that's what the final definition of is, but how do you achieve that character? How do you think about developing that character? Well, I think it's, um, it starts with, with uh, purpose. At least I think it starts with purpose. I don't think you can just be an individual that has these beliefs that, doesn't, that isn't grounded in some foundation. And it's, it's sort of the, the, the tough questions that we sometimes try to avoid answering in our own lives. Like, why are we here? Why are we on earth? What, you know, what drives us? What truly drives us every day? What is that motivation underneath that drives us? And what's the foundation of what's really important to us? To me, that's the, 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 the key questions that drive what character an individual has. And, and that drives, character drives purpose. Purpose is what I think we use to make our decisions, whether we're conscious of it or not. And purpose, um, your purpose in life has to be, I think, compelling. It has to be something that's really big, really encompassing. Not just, you know, I want to go get in shape this weekend. That's not a life purpose, although it's not a bad idea. It's not a life purpose. Um, and it has to pass the test of time. So, you know, we all go to motivational speeches and we hear these great ideas and we say, you know, we want to put those to work in our lives and then two days later we forget what they were or they're not that important. So true purpose has to really pass the test of time. And I think it also has to be vivid in your life. If you believe you have a purpose but, you know, after days, weeks, months, that purpose really isn't vivid in the way you think about your life, then that purpose probably is not the one that's going to drive you. So I think a purpose has to be compelling, it has to, to uh, pass the test of time, and it has to be vivid in your life. And, uh, and that purpose, it's what drives what people uh, develop as their characteristics or their traits. And uh, I, I'm one that believes that character can be learned. Uh, it isn't just, um, doesn't just come by a random capture of an idea something that you consciously learn. I think it has to be practiced over time. I think your ideas have to be really uh, sharpened and, and acted on day after day after day. I have a friend of mine who believes that um, to change uh, something in your life, it has to be both important and you have to be able to consciously demonstrate that for at least 30 days to have any chance that you can change something in your life. So it has to be practiced. And then last, it's proven over, t over time. If, if you learn it and you practice it over time, it'll become a habit, and that habit becomes one of the characteristics of your, of your character. So uh, after that, it's really tested in what I call the crucible of life. It's those characteristics that you think are important, those character traits you think are important, they're going to be tested. Maybe not every day, but they're going to be tested in the course of your life. And uh, let's just think about some of the ways in which character can be defined. I think strength of character uh, recognizes that a good reputation is built over time, but it can be destroyed in a minute. It's built over time, and it can be destroyed in a minute. Strength of character drives, uh, drives you to get results, but it drives you to get results that really count or results with integrity. One of the things I've learned in business is getting results 
is not that hard. If you singularly focus on a business objective and you lock out everything else out in your life, you can get those results. But oftentimes they're hollow and they don't last. And the leaders, particularly if you think back over the last 10 years, you look at some of the, the um, uh, leverage buyouts that have happened and you say, you know, that didn't seem that hard to do. And it probably wasn't that hard to do to get short-term results that you can't repeat when you lock everything else out in your life. But that's not what most people would define as, as success. But um, for many people, that's how they define it. In the old days, when, when I was in business school, we used to define the responsibility of business was to, to deliver shareholder results or shareholder return. And in those days, we often would define shareholder return as a financial return. Well, today, that doesn't cut it at all because the result, financial results are critical. They're, they're necessary, but they're not sufficient. They've got to be wider than that. They've got constituencies that have to be addressed and results count on a wider basis than just the singular results of a financial return. It's strength of character that values a balanced life. And not just a balanced life for yourself, but a balanced life for the people you work with and the people you live with uh, in your family. Uh, it's strength of character that gives you the straight and honest feedback to your boss, to the people you work with, uh, and in the case of business, to the financial markets, when it's much easier not to give straight and honest result, uh, feedback. It's strength of character that drives your self-control that allows you to do the things you know you should do and not do the things you know you shouldn't do. It's character drives the self-control that makes those important decisions. It's strength of character that drives risk-taking. And risk-taking, uh, I believe, is important in your personal life and it's important in business as well. And those people who never take risks, um, oftentimes their lives are not nearly as interesting and challenging or difficult. So risk-taking is, a, I think, an important aspect. Strength of character doesn't um, just execute the status quo, but character challenges the status quo and says, is what we've done for years, for many years, what we should be doing in the future? And it's the character that stands up and says, no, that was good then, but it's not good now. And strength of character respects that success is defined most often by a series of short-term successes which yield long-term success. And that's oftentimes hard to uh, come to grips with because it's so easy to want to shoot for the fence on everything you do. But oftentimes the, the real success comes from those series of short-term successes along the road. You put those characteristics together and many more, you could come up with a lot of other examples, and it's those characteristics that form that moral compass that helps you make the right decision. And why that moral compass is, I think, an important concept to think about, and one that uh, the lack of it often trips people up, is that most mistakes that I've seen people make are not ones that they spend a lot of time thinking about. They're the ones that happened um, as a surprise. And how did they react to that surprise? And if you don't have a foundation of character principles that you believe in that drive your life, when you're, when you're faced with that instantaneous need to make a decision, the high likelihood is you'll make a bad decision. Contrary to that, if you have those foundations, those, those parameters that help you make and frame quickly the, the issues that you're faced with, you have a much higher likelihood of making the right decision on the spur of the moment. 